The origins of the mermaid myth are shrouded in the mists of time, with tales that have been passed down through generations, evolving and adapting with each retelling. Some of the earliest known mermaid legends can be traced back to ancient Mesopotamia, a cradle of civilization where myth and reality often intertwined. Here, the goddess Atargatis was said to have transformed herself into a fishwoman out of shame for accidentally killing her human lover. This tragic tale highlights the complex emotions and divine interventions that were common in ancient myths. In Mesopotamian mythology, the male fish god Oannes existed over 5,000 years ago, suggesting the concept of mermaids emerged early on as a way for ancient cultures to understand marine life. The mermaids were often associated with water, fertility and the dangers of the sea, representing both life-giving and destructive forces. As maritime trade routes expanded, so too did the mermaid legend. Sailors carried these stories across vast oceans, sharing them in bustling port cities. While mermaid depictions vary across cultures, some common features persist. Most commonly, mermaids are described as having the upper body of a human female and the tail of a fish. Their skin is often smooth and pale, and they are said to possess long flowing hair. In some cultures, mermaids are depicted with shells or seaweed adorning their bodies. The color of a mermaid's tail is said to reflect her mood and personality. In some tales, mermaids are said to live in elaborate underwater kingdoms, complete with coral castles and shimmering treasures. Their attire often reflects their environment, with some depictions showcasing mermaids adorned with pearls, shells, and seaweed. These accessories not only enhance their beauty, but also highlight their connection to the marine world. Beyond their physical appearance, mermaids are often attributed with unique powers. Their enchanting voices are legendary, capable of luring sailors to their doom. Some legends attribute mermaids with unique powers like immortality, seeing the future, telepathy and hypnosis. Some tales also credit mermaids with the ability to control the weather, causing storms or calming the seas at will. Christopher Columbus, during his voyages to the New World, claimed to have seen mermaids in the Caribbean Sea. Other explorers and sailors have reported similar encounters, describing creatures that resembled humans from the waist up, with fishtails splashing beneath the waves. Let's explore some of these encounters throughout history. There have been numerous bizarre encounters with mermaids that have captured the imagination and curiosity of people. Henry Hudson's crew in 1608. On Henry Hudson's second voyage, crew members claimed to have spotted a mermaid in the Arctic Ocean. They described her as having a beautiful face and long hair, but she disappeared before they could get a closer look. The Exeter Incident in 1737. Eight fishermen off the coast of Exeter, England, reported catching a creature resembling a human with webbed feet and a salmon-like tail in their nets. The creature reportedly leapt out of the net and ran away, groaning like a human. This encounter was corroborated by all witnesses, making it a particularly unusual case in mermaid law, British Columbia, Canada in 1967. Tourists on a ferry reported seeing a mermaid with silvery blonde hair eating a salmon and enjoying the waves. The local city even offered a $25,000 reward for proof of the mermaid's existence, but no evidence was ever presented. Kiryat Yam, Israel in 2009. In a more recent sighting, numerous people reported seeing a mermaid performing aerial tricks in Haifa Bay. The town of Kiryat Yam offered a $1 million reward for proof of the mermaid's existence, further fueling public interest and speculation about mermaids in modern times. The mermaid myth is not confined to a single culture or geographic location. These creatures appear in folklore across the globe, each culture adding its unique interpretation to the legend. In West Africa, Mamiwata is a powerful water deity often depicted as a mermaid. She is revered as a symbol of beauty, wealth and fertility. In Greek mythology, sirens were dangerous creatures who lured sailors to their deaths with their enchanting voices. Initially depicted as bird women, sirens evolved into mermaid-like creatures. They are known for their enchanting songs that lure sailors to their doom. A famous myth involves Odysseus who ordered his men to plug their ears with beeswax to avoid being seduced by their song. Similarly, the Iara of Brazilian folklore is originally a water snake who transformed into a beautiful woman. She lures sailors to her underwater palace where they often become her lovers. Iara is blamed for many disappearances in the Amazon River. 
In Maori folklore, the Marakihau is a guardian of the sea with a human head and the body of a long fish. It is known for its destructive nature, often blamed for capsizing canoes and consuming large amounts of fish. In Ireland, exist Mero. These creatures have the upper body of a human and the lower body of a fish. Female Meros are beautiful, while male Meros are considered hideous. Mermaid myths exist across various cultures worldwide, each with unique characteristics and narratives. A specific Greek legend tells of Thessaloniki, sister of Alexander the Great, who became a mermaid after her death. She is said to ask passing sailors if Alexander is alive, rewarding correct answers with calm seas and punishing incorrect ones with storms. In Irish and Scottish folklore, selkies are seal creatures that can shed their skins to become human. While not traditional mermaids, they share similarities, particularly in their connection to the sea and themes of transformation and love. Their stories often explore the tension between land and sea, highlighting the longing for belonging. In Haitian Vodou, La Sirene is a mermaid spirit associated with the sea, beauty and wealth. She is often depicted as a protector of the ocean and is invoked in rituals for blessings and prosperity. Her character reflects the blend of African and European influences in Caribbean mythology. In Japanese mythology, the Ningyo is a fish-like creature with a human face. Catching a Ningyo is said to bring misfortune, while its flesh is believed to grant eternal youth. The Ningyo's portrayal emphasizes a more cautionary aspect compared to the romanticized mermaids of Western lore. In some Aboriginal Australian myths, the Yaramaya Hu is a creature resembling a mermaid that lures travelers to the water. These stories often serve as cautionary tales about the dangers of the natural world and the importance of respecting it. In Slavic mythology, Rusalki are water spirits often associated with the souls of young women who died tragically. They are depicted as beautiful but dangerous, luring men to their deaths. While the terms mermaid and siren are often used interchangeably, there are some key distinctions between these mythical beings. Mermaids are generally depicted as more benevolent creatures, often portrayed as helpful or even romantic figures. Sirens, on the other hand, are typically portrayed as dangerous temptresses, luring sailors to their doom with their captivating voices. Mermen, the male counterparts to mermaids, also exist in folklore, although they are less prevalent in popular culture. They are often depicted as fierce warriors or guardians of the sea. Understanding these distinctions helps to appreciate the nuances within the broader category of merfolk, highlighting the diversity of these mythical beings. Mermaids have long captured the imaginations of writers, inspiring countless literary works. One of the most famous examples is Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid, a poignant tale of love, sacrifice, and the clash between two worlds. Anderson's story, while imbued with elements of tragedy, helped to solidify the mermaid's place in Western literature. More recently, Sue Monk Kidd's novel, The Mermaid Chair, explores themes of self-discovery and forbidden love through the lens of mermaid mythology. These works, along with countless others, demonstrate the enduring power of the mermaid myth to explore complex human emotions and themes. Mermaid lore is intertwined with historical events, and this connection manifests in various ways across different cultures. Many mermaid legends originated from sailors' accounts during their voyages. Sailors often used mermaid myths as cautionary tales about the dangers of the sea. The seductive nature of mermaids who lured sailors to their deaths served as warnings against temptation and the perils of navigating treacherous waters. These stories reinforced the idea that the sea was both beautiful and dangerous, reflecting the sailors' experiences and fears. As sailors traveled and encountered different cultures, they shared their stories, leading to the blending and adaptation of mermaid myths. For instance, the Greek sirens, originally depicted as bird women, evolved into more fish-like forms in later interpretations, influenced by existing mermaid lore. This adaptation illustrates how historical interactions shape the evolution of mermaid narratives across cultures. Different cultures have unique interpretations of mermaids that reflect local beliefs and historical contexts. For example, Mamiwata in African folklore embodies both beauty and danger, often associated with wealth and fertility, while selkies in Scottish and Irish folklore represent transformation and longing for belonging. 
These variations highlight how historical and cultural factors influence the portrayal of mermaids in different regions. Throughout history, notable figures, including sailors and explorers, documented their encounters with mermaids. During the Age of Discovery, mermaids were included in natural histories and vestries, further embedding them into the cultural consciousness. Often symbolize femininity, beauty, and danger, reflecting societal attitudes towards women and the sea. Their portrayal as both nurturing and destructive figures can be seen as a reflection of historical gender dynamics and cultural perceptions of women. This duality is evident in stories where mermaids are both protectors and temptresses, embodying the complexities of human relationships with nature. In some cultures, mermaids are associated with the protection of sacred sites and natural resources. This aspect of mermaid law reflects historical relationships between communities and their natural surroundings. Mermaid law is deeply intertwined with historical events, reflecting sailors' experiences, cultural exchanges, and societal beliefs. The evolution of mermaid myths across different cultures illustrates how these stories have adapted over time, shaped by historical contexts and interactions. Now it's your turn to dive into the enchanting world of mermaids. Share your favorite mermaid legends in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more intriguing explorations of mystical lore. Until next time, keep the legends alive.